Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, where today we will discuss the best camera for sports photography on the market. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Oh, and by the way, links to all the featured products are given in the description below. Do check it out. The EOS 1DX Mark III is the high end, ultra tough, hyper fast DSLR of Canon. From the outside, it seems about the same as prior EOS 1D bodies dating back two decades. But on the inside, there are radical changes. And even though this is a big, double grip DSLR, it functions as a capable mirrorless camera in live view mode, provided you've got the muscle to hold it out in front of you for extended periods. Highlighting a newly designed 20.1 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor and renewed Digic X image processor, this camera is competent in continuous shooting rates up to 16 frames per second with the optical viewfinder or 20 frames per second in live view with a 1000 shot buffer when shooting RAW plus JPEG. Complementing this speed is an effective native sensitivity range from ISO 100 102400 that can be extended to ISO 50 819200 to suit operating in various lighting situations. Also, profiting the speed is the EOS ITR AFX autofocus system, which utilizes 191 points for quickly and precisely acquiring focus. Accepting landscape and studio specialists that require massive amounts of megapixels, the EOS 1D X Mark III is the most well rounded, well specced camera currently in the business for both stills and video shooters that have the necessary funds. Our pick for best mirrorless is the Sony A9 Mark II. Where to begin? It's a superior mirrorless camera around right now. It's a magnificent sports shooting machine, recognition to its 20 frames per second burst shooting with no viewfinder blackout. And its autofocus system puts all others essentially to shame, capable as it is, of getting up to 60 calculations every second. Yep, that about wraps up the superb Sony A9 II but the company really has gone above and beyond with other characteristics useful for sports shooters, like the built-in 5 GHz Wi-Fi for super-fast image transfer, like the latest mechanical shutter created with ultra-low vibration, like, well, you get the idea, outstanding achievement in camera engineering. Using the proven 24.2 megapixel full-frame Exmor RSBSI stacked CMOS sensor and a renewed Bions X processor, the A92 sports especially quick and responsive abilities. Up to 20 frames per second shooting is possible with a silent electronic shutter or up to 10 frames per second with a mechanical shutter is supported, along with a broad sensitivity range that reaches up to an expanded ISO 204800. The sensor's design also includes a 693-point phase detection autofocus system, which gives intelligent subject tracking and real-time IAF to guarantee critical focus on moving subjects. The Bions X also offers up to 60 AF-AE functions per second to go along with the 20 frames per second shooting for certain results in swiftly changing situations. An extension to stills, UHD 4K video recording is supported at up to 30 frames per second and quick and slow motion recording is also possible. Next is our pick for best Nikon and that goes to the Nikon D6. We should state this up front. The Nikon D6 is an extraordinary camera. If you've already got a cabinet full of Nikon lenses and you've utilized Nikon DSLR so much that they're handling a second nature, buying one is a no-brainer. But why have we qualified the statement? Well, in truth, it's just outgunned and outdone by its two big professional competitors in pretty much every relevant class from autofocus methods to burst shooting and buffer depth. The Sony A92 and Canon EOS 1D X Mark III surpass it. So, if you're making your way into a new system, either of these cameras would be a much better steal. Skilled in both photo and video regions, the D6 rotates around a 20.8 megapixel FX format sensor and an XP6 image processor that allows an impressive 14 frames per second constant shooting rate, a native sensitivity range from ISO 100 102400 and UHD 4K video recording at 30 frames per second. When operating with stills, a revised high-density multi-cam 37K autofocus system highlights 105 cross-type points that enhance focusing precision and speed. 
With 1.6 times more excellent frame coverage, the requirement to recompose while shooting is significantly decreased. This focusing system also operates with 17 customizable Group Area AF patterns to suit working in cluttered or busy scenarios or fast-moving subjects. Our pick for best compact is the Sony A6600. Sony has done a fabulous job of carving out a niche for its APS-C cameras besides the full-frame flagships. The A6000 series are recognized for being fast and light with burst and autofocus speeds that challenge those of the pros. This generally makes them exceptional for sports photography and the A6600, the newest of the group, is no exception. With 11 frames per second burst shooting and a complex 425-point autofocus system that boasts characteristics like real-time IAF tracking, a prominent tool for keeping track of a fast-moving player. It's a little frustrating that the shot buffer has decreased from the previous A6500, but this is still an outstanding imaging machine. Wearing an updated 24.2 megapixel CMOS sensor, the A6600 is competent in producing high-resolution images and up to UHD 4K video with no recording time limit, more effective processing, and more active focusing. The 4D focus system, which covers 84% of the image frame, uses 425 phase detection points along with 425 contrast detection areas for especially quick and natural performance along with real-time IAF for both photos and video. Complementing both pictures and video, 5-axis steady shot inside image stabilization reduces the appearance of camera shake with all attached lenses to support working with slower shutter speeds. Up next is our pick for best value, and that goes to the Nikon Z50. The new child in Nikon Z range of mirrorless cameras, the Nikon Z50 is an APS-C model pointed squarely at enthusiasts and newbies looking to take their first step into mirrorless shooting. It's a fabulous choice for sports photography thanks not only to its 11 frames per second burst shooting, but also its advanced autofocus system and remarkable image quality with the dynamic range you'll be talking about for days. It's a great system to keep an eye on in the future, though that does mean the native lens choice is currently minimal. The most telephoto reach you'll now get with the Z-branded lens is 250 millimeters. While an FTZ adapter does help here, employing F-mount lenses is a good stopgap solution, but not perfect in the long run. Still, with every sign that Nikon intends to make this system a future priority, the Z50 depicts a solid investment. Proficient in both stills and video realms, the Z50 highlights a 20.9 megapixel CMOS sensor and XPEED 6 image processor, which allows fast performance up to 11 frames per second, a 209-point solid hybrid AF system with eye detection, and notable low-light performance to ISO 51200. For video shooters, UHD 4K is supported up to 30 frames per second and full HD recording at up to 120 frames per second for slow-motion playback. For fine-tuning your images and videos, in-camera clip trimming can be utilized, and 20 creative picture controls and 10 special effects settings help to inspire your imagery with a unique look. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.